Hi guys, welcome back to the VGCI channel and today I will be doing a deck review on one of the most cancelled deck in Vanguard which is Deleters. Uh, so this build is not the hacking delete, uh, the de vanish delete build, sorry, it's more of the rush uh, build. So you try to end your opponent by grade 3 with things such as given. Uh, you can use the new grade 3 to delete your opponent by grade 3. Then try your best to end your opponent on your boss at the first or second strike even if you can't end them at grade 3. So this is the, my deck review on it. And since I live in Singapore, the, this weekend they actually had um, an event called Asobi. And I went there. It was really it was great. Uh, we had the ten dollar goodie bag, in which you they we were given three sleeves and a random item, and I got a Kai T shirt. So it's really worth for me. So this is what the event looked like. Uh, so we carnival. This is a coupon to buy for like you know food and to enter the competition right there. The as there was some uh competitions that were very special and different, such as special format in which they talk about. Uh, I mean, they not they talk about they had like some special ruling added, you know, to every game. Like let's just say, oh, uh, all the uh, everyone starts with uh, seven cut hand size, or you know, you start with two damage, or you know, uh, there was some crazy rule that only your real guards can drive check and your vanguard cannot drive check. So it, it, it's really crazy. It was really cool. So I participated in most of the tournaments there, and then I won uh, top four out of thirty two players. So this is what kind of the score sheet looked like from the local, uh, how you say, from my local uh, friendly distributor, uh, Vanguard distributor called Genie Six Frontier. So yeah, as you can see, we had the score sheet number, my name right here, which I think now, and then we had the round. So usually we'll play about three to four rounds to determine the top four. So the sheet is empty actually because they really didn't have time to bother filling it up. So. They just, they just wrote down who won and who lost, but you know, I had one uh, win right here, and then I win the other three, so that's the judge signature right here. So after round one, they didn't really bother to circle and sign who won and who lost, because it just took, took too much time, so yeah. And then after that, we were given our prizes, so our participating prize, we got uh, PR packs, which I won't show uh, right here, so, and we got this... Uh, but fighters counter the new Chrono Jet Zack. It's pretty cool. A uh, 10k counter and a 5k counter. And then last but not least, I won the congrats. Uh, four congrats stamped. Uh, right here, as you can see, it's pretty cool. Uh, I got Chatura right here. Uh, Tenry. Uh, for Nubatama of course. And then I got one Messiah and one of the DP one. So yeah, it's pretty cool. So yeah, this. The, this weekend, I actually entered and got into top place with Nubatama, and this is why I say Nubatama is so strong. It's pretty retarded how it's so strong right now. So yeah, uh, if you wanna know uh, about more what I've used in my deck, you can check out my Nubatama video. But never mind. I've gone way too far off from this video. This video is supposed to be a deck profile about video, so let's just get right into it. Alright, so for grade 3, you would ideally want to play at least uh, minimum 6, but I would... I play 7 in my deleter deck, so 3 of the new one, the Hack Deleter uh, Grigal, because it has grey in him. Um, this is the given build, of course, so you need a grey Vanguard in order to stand it. So, skill Soul Blast 2. When this plays on Vanguard or Regard Circle, you can Soul Blast uh, 2 and then you delete your opponent's Vanguard. And this unit gets plus 5k, and then if this unit is on your Vanguard Circle, um, you delete all your opponent's Vanguard. And then when this unit is retired um, from Regard Circle for the effect of cost or anything, uh, to like, you know, let's just say to delete your opponent's Vanguard, if your hand size is uh, 3 or less, you may draw a card. So ideally, you want to at least pay 3 of these, because uh, you don't really have to retire any of your Regards to actually delete the opponent if this is on your Vanguard Circle. So you just have to Soul and you delete your, Vanguard, uh, your opponent's Vanguard immediately. And then followed by the old uh, deleter card, Count Plus 1. Uh, you uh, retire two of your regards and then uh, delete your opponent's vanguard. Uh, the strike skill when the uh, deleter strike is strided over uh, this card, uh, check the top card uh, of your deck. And if it's a deleter, call it to regard circle and it plus 2k uh, until end of battle. So it's really good. It's really good. Ideally, you want to play at least three. 
you can switch this out to play four of these and three of these uh, instead if you want but ideally you at least want to play you know both of them at least three all right moving on we have the grade two so grade two is pretty standard so ideally you want to play at least three gibbons skill uh compass one sack this unit uh, and four of your other regards if you're not wrong yeah sack this and four of the other regards after when this unit attacks at the end of the battle that this unit attacks you may pay a cost if you do you stand your vanguard so it's really good ideally you want to have like you know a deleted vanguard uh, a deleted opponent vanguard and then you call him out plus one two three four uh, four other uh, regards and then you beat with this uh, column first followed by a vanguard and then last but not least we have uh, this given and after count plus one you retire one two three four five sorry one two three in one yeah one two three four five including himself and then you de uh, you stand your vanguard again and then some skills uh, of your regards when they are uh, you know retired or sacked you will the abilities will activate such as like you know top deck uh, call your uh, call the top of the card down to regards circle and plus 5k or plus 2k or whatever so yeah this is really this is a really stable card in any almost any deleted deck for rushing down the opponent so they can end them before they even you know first stride or anything moving on we have this uh, grade 2 so this grade 2 is just your normal uh, locker so if when this card is placed on vanguard circle if your opponent has a deleted vanguard you uh, lock one of your opponent's front row units uh, take note that this is only front row so it's okay, it's not that bad. So ideally you at least want to play two or three. Then followed by everyone's favorite card. This stupid great two card. Uh is an X skill when you may pay the cost which is complex one and then this unit plus two uh, K. And then when this unit attacks, uh if the attack hits onto the opponent Vanguard and your opponent has a great three Vanguard, great three deleted Vanguard of course, uh and it hits, your opponent may not be able to strike next turn so yes this is a stupidly fun card to play but at the same time cancerous because if your attack hits your opponent you know goodbye to your opponent cause can't strike next turn and at the same time so it gets a uh, power uh, depending on you know uh, which card you is caught by this effect some cards caught by uh use caught using this effect i mean you use some cards to call this card uh, the effect it plus 5k you know plus power to it and then if you get a stand trigger oh, that's even worse for the opponent because it has to guard even more in order for this card to not uh, hit the vanguard so yeah i didn't want to play two or three probably uh three is max to be honest and then followed by this great two card it's a very simply sim simple simple card because ideally you want to combo it with this so if you do not have this card in your hand you may use this great two card to call it up uh, when it's placed on rearguard circle uh, combust 2 if your uh, opponent has a deleted vanguard uh, you search up your deck for one uh, card in deleted name which is basically anything but ideally you want to search for given if you don't have it in your hand and then you search for it, uh, it and then you call it to rearguard circle so yeah that's basically it Moving on to the great one, so yeah, that's about it for the great tools. It's pretty standard this deck, pretty much standard for you know every deleted deck because it's so it's so disgusting. It's just very disgusting. Four perfect guards. Um, you don't really have to play four perfect guards if you want because you ideally want to end your opponent by great three or your first strike. But I play four just for you know the second skill in which. If this is in your drop zone, put as the vanguard, you bind this card face down, uh, vanish, basically vanish delete this card, and then uh, you plus 4k to any one of your units. So you can plus 4k to you know the cancerous grade 2, the, which doesn't allow the opponent to strike right here, so that it gives more power. So for that, and then 3 strike fodders, um, just in case. The strike fodder skill, uh, standard, and then the second skill is count plus 1 when this card is uh, you know used to pay for the cost of strike, you may count as one and call this uh, card to regard circle. So it's really good. Uh, you can use this effect to uh, retire in himself when you strike so that you can just immediately delete your opponent's vanguard. And then last but not least we have this great one. So you don't really have to play four of this, you can play uh, two or maximum three. But I play four because I couldn't find one great one card. Uh, which is the 10k booster, you know, if you have a Dita Vanguard, uh, it's 7k. When this unit attacks, it's plus 3k, so it's basically a 10k booster. But I couldn't find it, so 
I had to stay with this, which is fine too. Uh, so basically, this skill is when this unit boosts uh, uh, attacking uh, rearguard, so usually boosts a creep uh, too. If the attack hits, you may lock one of your opponent's front row units. So yeah, but take note that this is only front row, if I'm not wrong. So yeah, and then last but not least, we have the four great zeros. Obviously, Zhu Jie, if I'm not wrong. Name sounds so uh, weird. Anyways, uh, you play four of him because of the skill is just too good. So the skill is when this unit is sacked for the cost of anything basically or for the call, more, more usually for the cost of deleting your opponent's vanguard you may move this instead of moving this into the drop zone you put it into your soul so it gives you a charge at the same time you counter charge one and you look at the top card of your deck if it's deleted which obviously it should be call it the rear guard circle so basically when you combo this with you know given uh given so let's just say you have two of these and then you have given right here and two more separate regards. You whack with this, you whack with your Vanguard, you whack with a uh, given. Come last one, sack one, two, three, four, five. These two goes into soul, goes into your soul, and then uh, count charge two. You took, uh, look at the top two cards of the deck and call it the regard circle. So it guarantees you more attack too. So just hit the camera. Anyway, so yeah, this is a very staple in every detail deck. You at least have to play, you know, three or four of these. Alright, moving on. We have uh, the trigger, so after that, we'll go on, move on with the G deck. Okay, hold on. Alright, then for triggers, um, I run four of the crits, the G the crit. So basically, uh, skill is when this unit boosts, after it's boosting, um, you may send this, uh, put this card on the top of your deck, count charge one, and your opponent vanish, deletes one of his cards in the drop zone. And then shuffle your deck. Yeah, so basically, this is your counter charger, and you make your opponent vanish the one card, which is fine, I guess. But mostly, usually, you use it for the counter charge and the reshuffling back crit. Yeah, usually you don't use it for the vanish delete because I ideally you want to end your opponent off, you know, before you even get to that stage where you know the thirteen vanish delete cards and your opponent has four more damage, you win the game that that, that card. So yeah, the stupidly expensive card, but yeah. Moving on, we have uh, four of the stand triggers. So this is why I say play uh, stand eight stands in this deck because this trigger is just too good. So <clears throat> sorry, uh, this trigger is when you set this trigger, basically retire this trigger for any cost uh, for the cost of you know delete open the vanguard or whatever. Um, you may look at the top card of your card uh, of your deck, call it and plus five k. So this is really really important. This is one of the most important triggers in the deck because it just brings you so much value when you delete your opponent's vanguard look at the top card if it's deleted call it and it's just plus 5k it's just so strong especially if you call the great tool cannot strike uh, the great tool with the ability that cannot strike so it's, it's so strong moving on with the normal uh, stand trigger uh, which has the ability of uh, when this is, unit is placed on the regular circle if your opponent has a delete the vanguard just draw a card which is okay it gives you your draws and last but not least, we have four of the deleted heals just to call for your G Guardians. So yeah, that's about it for now. We'll move on to the G deck. So take note that my G deck is not complete at all. It is a bit messed up based on the G Guardians itself. As you can see, they screw you for some reason. Anyways, um, it's pretty it's pretty bad. So ideally, uh, I'll tell you what ideally you want to play for the deck instead of you know this piece of shit. So yeah, moving on, we have the G Guardians first. So ideally, you want to play uh, one or two of this Cosmo Wealth, if I'm not wrong. Basically, skill combos one, uh, your opponent locks one of his or her back row units, and if it does, uh, he or she does, this unit plus 5k. So it's basically a 20 shield, and you lock one of your opponent's back row units, like the booster. So it's pretty good. Then you play a, one or two maximum of this uh, deleter... Uh, G Guardian, which is Karma Sun, Soul Plus One. For each deleted unit in your Regard Circle and your G Zone, you choose up to three of your units uh, in your opponent front row, and they all minus 1k power until end of turn. So it's really, really good, but it's at a hefty cost of Karma Sun, Soul Plus One, and you must have at least, you know, at least, you know, 5 to 10 Rear Guards uh, and Face Up cards in your G Zone in order to, you know, utilize its full effect. So I did want to play at least one or two. 
but in this deck I play 3 because I can't find any uh, replacement. So basically this deck what you want to replace this with is uh, Locker's Karina. That is another one which is Karma Swan. Uh, you lock uh, as many amount of regards as you want uh, on, on in your field and then your opponent chooses one of uh, one of his or her back row units and locks it too. So basically it's like a Cosmo Wealth but if you lock 3 and let's just say the opponent has 3 back row regards, you lock 3 of your own units, your opponent has to lock 3 of the back units. So basically you just took out their boosters. And then next you can switch out for uh, Colburn and screw you too. Colburn, you can play Colburn in this deck for those um, decks that has massive hand size. So basically Colburn skill is when you call this G Garden, you discard a card, so for each two cards in your opponent's hand, uh, this unit plus uh, five face shield. So you can ideally play this. Or if you are, if you want, you can actually play uh, what's called Destiny Garden. Yeah, Destiny Garden is basically if your opponent um, has a lock card, you play this onto the Garden Circle. You unlock two of their lock cards. Uh, you this unit gains uh, plus ten K shield, so it's a twenty five K shield usually. But yeah, you can just play lock. Uh, not Locker's Karina, you can play Destiny Garden in case of the matchups where you go against Chaos. Uh, Deleters at least needs one Regard Circle in order to delete the Vanguard, the Chaos Vanguard. So you need to have uh, Destiny Garden in play. So you don't have to play 6 G Guards, as I said. I'm playing 6 right here, but uh, let's just say you switch this Coburn out for Destiny Garden. Or you switch uh, these two out for Destiny Garden. So. Basically, two Destiny Guardians and uh, one Coburn. Or, oh wait, not two Destiny Guardians, sorry. Uh, one Cosmic Wealth, one Deleter, G Guard, one Lakas Karina, uh, one Destiny Guardian, and one of uh, this guy. One Coburn, basically, yeah. One Coburn, one Cosmo Wealth, one Deleter, uh, Lakas Karina, and uh, Destiny Guardian. So yeah, that's basically for the G guard. So moving on, we have the main deck. So the main deck you want to play four of the Iho Dian. So this is basically you, your first strike usually. Uh, skill is retire one of the regards, uh, flip this card face up. Uh, the same name, uh, flip this card face up, and your whole front row plus two K for each face up card. Uh, uh, in the same name as this guy. So basically your whole front row plus 2k. On the second strike, your whole front row will uh, have plus 6k. So it's really dangerous and it's really powerful. So you must, must play 4 of this guy. Moving on, we have the new deleter, um, which is uh, this guy, basically. Uh, oops, wrong one. Screw you. It's uh, out. I'll tell you what to replace that later. Anyways, um, you play 4 of this uh, new strike. Basically, the skill is... The first skill is if you have a less than one hand size, you know, usually deleters have less than one hand size because you ideally want to kill your opponent, uh, so you have to use a lot of your hand size. So if the skill is if you have less than one hand size, you may strike this card for free. So basically this card is really good in situations where you have less than one hand size, one or less. So when you strike this card, uh, you activate a skill which is flip, uh, G unit face up. I'm not too sure whether it's flip the G unit or flip itself face up. But basically, you just flip uh, whatever face up. And then uh, retire two of your regards and then you delete your opponent's vanguard. So basically, it's just a free strike to delete your opponent's vanguard 26k in the opponent's face. So ideally, you want to play at least two or four. I'm not too sure whether you have to flip up the same name, but if you do flip the same name, just play four because you have practically nothing else to play. So moving on, we have two of these. So basically, ideally you don't have to play GB8. Not necessary at all. This is when the game is really stalled and you really have nothing else to do. Then you just play the GB8. But this is really, really useless in the deck. So ideally you want to switch it out for this guy. So two play of the original original deleter Igor. The freaking expensive card. This is about like $70. Okay, maybe not. 60 to 60 to $70. So basically, GB2 skill count plus one. You lock one of your opponent's back row, retire one of your rear guards, and you delete your opponent's bank card. And your opponent is forced to vanish, delete one of his cards, if I'm not wrong. And 
So this is the how you say the win uh, the reason why it's uh, so expensive is because of the win condition if I'm not wrong the auto win condition which is if your opponent has four or more damage and the uh, vanish the cards is thirteen or more you win the game so basically that's the auto win condition but you wouldn't really want to reach that I mean you wouldn't reach that in this deck because this deck is basically rush your opponent down to death. To six damage before they even you know stride or whatever, so ideally you only need one of him in this deck. But you can play two if you want. You don't really have to play this uh, GBA because it's completely useless. And last but not least, um, you can switch out screw you for Stark. So if you really have nothing else to do, you can actually start your opponent. Uh, so there's a good way to do a uh, start in which you can delete your opponent. And start at the same time. So start is working for forty k one pass because your opponent is deleted. So the only way condition to do that is to have at least uh two of him in hand. So let's just say you have uh this on 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 the field, and you have two soul. So basically, let's imagine this is start please. So I have star. It's just that I don't want to put him in um here because I open the gizzy pack. So. Uh, but I, you know, using start in my other Nova stack. Anyways, um, you have two soul, and you are, let's just say your great tree is this guy, and you have two of him in hand. You can actually start. So first, you right during your right phase when this unit is a vanguard, so plus two, so so plus two out, and then you delete your opponent's vanguard, and then once your opponent's vanguard is deleted, you pay the cost for automatic strike, which is to uh discard this guy in name. So you discard him. You start on to start, let's just uh, pretend this is start, and your start works 40k for one pass. So, this is a really dangerous combo, but it, once you pull it off, in which I did before against my friend, it was whew, it was amazing. Because your friend literally has to gun 40k for one guard, and by the time you know you start, some of your friends might have used up their, you know, their perfect guards or the consents in order to guard. So it's going to be really, really hard for them to get 40k for one pass, especially if they have 5 damage. So yeah, that's about it guys. Thank you very much for watching uh, my Dieter Cancerous deck uh, profile. I hope you guys like it. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. And this is VG Shihai, and I am out. Peace.